Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys some really awesome iPhone tips and tricks that a lot of people actually don't know and don't even use on their device. These are pretty cool, most of them pretty helpful and will allow you to do a lot more and have a lot of like different shortcuts, different tricks to do a lot of more things quicker and easier on your iPhone like this one right here whenever you're on, on an app and you're on the full screen mode like right here on a game you don't have the status bar or anything here if you just want to take a quick peek at your status bar all you have to do is just do a, like a tiny swipe right there and it will reveal you your battery and your cellular connection and your Wi-Fi connection as well so just swipe like that right there and you're good to go while watching a video on YouTube, when you tap the share button, you will get right here a new button that says start at. So you can just place basically the video at any time point you want. And when you tap the share button, you can enable this. And now when you copy the link and you share it to someone, it will actually share the link with the video that starts at that exact moment that you have set. Moving on to Safari, on Safari when you go to clear the history of your browser you can tap the clear button right here and then you will have the ability here to choose what you want to clear. But what's really cool is that you can also choose from which profile you want to clear the history. So if you have created different profiles within Safari, you don't have to clear the whole history that you have on Safari. You can just specify one of the profiles and it will clear just the history of that profile. Now here's a pretty cool one that you need to know. Whenever you're on a phone call and you need to actually stop that phone call but you don't want to be rude or something like that you want to make it seem like the phone call has just dropped or you don't have like good seller connectivity what you can do while on the phone call just invoke the control center and turn on the airplane mode from here and the other caller basically will see that the call has failed and now that you have ended the call Moving on into settings and let's go to mail here. Now, when you go to mail and you send an email with your iPhone's default mail app, you know that in the bottom it will say, it will say send from my iPhone. Now, what you can do here is actually change that by going to signature. You go right here and you will have here your account. So you can just choose all accounts if you want to have the same signature on every email that you send or you can choose per account and then it will display you different fields here for different accounts that you have and you can set different signatures for any of them. Did you know that on Shazam or music recognition, however you want to call it, when you actually find a song and you go to the history, you can just tap the three dots right there and this will allow you to play this song anywhere you want. So right here you can see if I just play it, it will show me right here a few different options. So it says listen on and I can go ahead and open or search for this song on Apple Music, Spotify or YouTube video. Now, as we all know with iOS, when you go to your control center, you will have your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi toggles here that actually do not turn off either Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. But with iOS 18, what you can do is go to your shortcuts and create here a shortcut. Simply search for Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, whichever one you want to add. So there we have set Bluetooth, we tap on it and then where it says turn, tap on it and tap on toggle. And now you're good to go you tap done there and now you can go to your new control center on ios 18 and go ahead and add that shortcut which basically creates a new toggle for your control center so when we go to shortcuts right here tap on add shortcut and just choose the shortcut we just created so set bluetooth and right there we have the shortcut we can make it smaller here if we want to and this will allow us to actually turn on or off the Bluetooth directly from here and it turns it off completely, not just disable it like the toggle on the control center does. Now with live photos on iOS, you can create a lot more. If you have taken a live photo on your iPhone, you can just go to that photo on your photos library and tap where it says live right there. And now you can actually go to loop right there and you will create a boomerang out of that live photo that you have taken with your iPhone. On your iOS device, when you want to share something, when you go to the share sheet, you will see a list of contacts right there that iOS will suggest you to share too. But what you can do if you want to remove those contacts from the share sheet, 
that's pretty simple you go to apple intelligence and siri right here and what you need to do is actually disable that from here the way to do that is by simply finding here show when sharing you turn that button off and then it won't show you the siri suggestions when you want to share something now one thing i really believe a lot of ios users don't realize especially of course from the new lock screens that apple has introduced on ios 16 is that you can have a different wallpaper on the lock screen a different one on the home screen whether you're going by setting a new wallpaper or just customizing the current one that you have when you go to this section right here you can choose whichever one you want to change so if you change the one on the lock screen of course it applies to both of them but after you have said that you can just tap right here to customize the one on the home screen and then tap right here on the photos and this allows you to just pick any wallpaper that you have on your photos library and set it to the home screen so now we are done and when we go here you can notice that we have now a different wallpaper for the home screen now one of the of course most simple things yet a lot of users don't know about is that when moving apps on the home screen the easiest way to do that is not by actually just dragging the app to the corner here so a lot of people will do this or do this and sometimes it's glitchy so what you want to do is grab the app that you want to move and then with the other finger you can just move like this through the home pages and then just release the app anywhere you want and when you go to edit your home screens did you know that you can actually rearrange the pages that you have here so if i just want to place all these apps right here i can do that as easy as that so i can rearrange my home pages any way i want as easy as that so whether they are enabled or disabled you can still rearrange them and of course enable them anytime you need them now one of the most useful things that you can do on your home screen is have a dynamic page where you will have the apps that you use the most during that time of the day or during basically on the location that you're at and all that is done by Siri suggestions as you know as you use your iPhone on daily basis your iOS device will basically learn how you use it whichever apps you use the most at what time or at what place and you can have something like this this is a dynamic page here for the home screen which will update the apps all the time based on time of the day or even based on location now what we have here this is a widget basically there are three different widgets they're the same but i've placed three ones right here so we have a full screen of apps the way to do that you go to edit right here and tap to add a new widget and then find here series suggestions when you go here you want to add this one add the widget right here for app suggestions now what it does is that it will add the widget and it actually adds here three different ones all of them will show different apps even though those are the same widget they will show different apps so, so even if you have three the apps won't be the same now here's a very useful feature that you need to know regarding your phone app and your contacts whenever you go to contact you can tap the edit button right there and then you will find something here called emergency bypass now what that will do is that it will bypass the silent mode that you have on your iphone so if you have like a phone number from someone a contact that you want to basically that you want that contact to always have access to you whether you're on the silent mode or not then you can actually do that from here so i go to ringtone and then of course you can set a custom ringtone here if you want to but you will have this one which is really important you enable emergency bypass and in any time this contact calls you you will get a ring as you probably know with iOS 18 we can now schedule messages to send later so if you tap right there and you create a message to send later what you will be able to do is tap that button right there and before it's sent what you can do is also tap the edit button right there so you can edit that message directly from here so before it's sent you can always go back and edit the message if you want to change something or if you just want to send it right away without the time coming that you have scheduled it you can just tap right there and you can just send it right away now here is another one that is quite old but i'm pretty sure a lot of people don't realize this when you take a screenshot on safari you take a screenshot of a web page you have the ability to go to full page right here which means that it will save the full page 
of that website. Now, previously, this used to be a PDF file, but now when you tap the dump button, you can actually also save it to photos. So you can save this long photo without having to actually save it into a PDF file. Moving on into the App Store here, so on the App Store, when you go to the Updates section, you will see here the updates that you have for apps, but a lot of times we just install apps and forgot to forget about them. So if you go here and you see any app that you don't want to actually update, but you just want to remove from your device, you can always swipe like this and delete the app directly from here. Moving on into the Settings app, so head on to Settings under Bluetooth. When you go to any of your Bluetooth connection by tapping the I button, you will see this the settings of that connection now one thing that you can do here that will help improve the audio quality or which basically whatever type of different bluetooth connection that is you can just go right here to device type and you can choose here to basically help the device be like more compatible with that bluetooth connection choose what that bluetooth device is and this one right here is very useful as well. When you go to your emoji keyboard, you can actually swipe like this across these like little icons right here at the bottom. This will let you quickly move through the emoji keyboard. And last but not least, another way to quickly move on your device, when you go to your apps library, and you will have these letters right here, you can quickly swipe on these letters to actually move back and forth on your apps. So that's basically it for this video guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video, smash that like button if you did, of course, subscribe for more videos, and I will see you on the next one.